In tonight's What's Next, are you ready for some hockey under bright lights? PNC Arena is a national first in energy efficient lighting, a green trend center to energy, money, and a plus for fans. Melanie Sanders has the view for the Hurricanes next game. It's What's Next. More than 150 events are held here at PNC Arena every year, including the action-packed Hurricanes games. And NC State's men's basketball. And now the view will be a little brighter. What the fans should expect is it'll be much brighter in here. It'll have a real nice white look to it. In a history making move, 260 older high intensity lights in the arena are removed and replaced with 216 LED lights. The arena's general manager, Dave Olson. Uh, we are the first U.S. based NHL team to have uh, LED lighting. They have it right now in Montreal. We went up and looked at that back in February. And they liked what they saw. Kane's GM, Ron Francis, says he's gotten good feedback from Montreal. How much brighter it was and, and, and uh, better, a lot of less shadows and stuff. So uh, we're excited to be the first U.S. team using it. LED experts must go lighting promises its new lighting will improve player performance with fewer shadows and glares. Gives it a nice look, a nice effect. The lights can also be dimmed, setting a different mood for shows than sporting events, giving fans in the stands and at home a better experience. It's been a very uh, well received thing with television. It really enhances the HD quality. Dave says he doesn't know how much the new green lighting will save PNC Arena in energy, but estimates between 30 and $50,000 a year. A deal, he says, considering the project came in under budget. The Centennial Authority had about a $1.3 million budget for this three years from now. Uh, we decided to move it up to this year at a, at a cost of $650,000. PNC Arena, an energy trendsetter, with Olson predicting all large venues will be converting to LED in the next couple of years. I'm Melanie Sanders for What's Next. And fans will be able to check out the light for the first time this Sunday for the Canes preseason opener.